Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Luke Bowen. I'm one of the co-founders of Experiential Simulations. And in these episodes, what we're trying to do is to put in the spotlight professors all around the world who are using experiential learning, including simulations, to create the next generation of entrepreneurs. So we have a great example with us on the line today, Tom Williamson from the University of Coventry in the UK. He's actually also an alumni of the university. So let's hear what he has to say. Hi Tom, thanks for joining me today. Can you start by telling me a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name's Tom When I was a second year undergraduate student, I started a web hosting company. Um, the idea was just an opportunity that came up and we saw it, me and a friend of mine saw it as an opportunity to make some money. Um, at the time, I, I was studying at Coventry University and there was very little support available for students. Um, but I got to know certain members of staff that were quite passionate around business support, student um, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial activity. So through a student society that I helped start up, we started to get more and more traction within the university. And when I graduated, the university said, can you come and work with us and maybe look at developing some more um, entrepreneurship? modules, entrepreneurship training and entrepreneurship support for other students um, throughout the institution, which I obviously did. I bit their hand off and, uh, and ran with it. So one of the first activities we started was the development of a BA uh, undergraduate program in Enterprise for Entrepreneurship, which is a venture creation program um, aimed at uh, students that either have a business idea already or students that want to start a business um, and want to do that as part of their degree. Um, so that started a movement and that started a lot of activity and we now have um, eight years of experience behind us on the undergraduate and we've started an expansion into elective modules throughout the university that allow us to uh, reach out to, we get 1,200 students a year coming to us for a range of different business training um, anything from very specific high-tech entrepreneurship through to how to start a business in 10 weeks. Um, and my role at Coventry University is to try and give that some direction, manage it, make sure we're doing the right thing and keeping it current and fresh in terms of uh, what society wants, what society needs. Wow, that's really great stuff, Tom. Now, can you tell me, what are some of the future goals you have for your students? Are you hoping they become, you know, the next CEOs? Or are you hoping they become maybe even teachers like yourself? Yeah, that's an interesting point. I, I, I would love to see big businesses come out of some of our students, but I don't think that's my driving point. I want to see every student do something entrepreneurial while they're a student. Um, now, obviously some of those are going to be, uh, they're going to have a business idea, they're going to want, want to be self-employed, they're going to want to you know, be the next of the and so on. Um, but others are going to be world leaders, they're going to be politicians, they're going to be business managers, they're going to be sales forces. Um, they should still be entrepreneurial and they should still understand um, the role of entrepreneurship in, in a wider society. So my, my vision, if I could achieve it, would be to have every single student being entrepreneurial whilst at university, whilst at college, whilst in education, training, um, because then they're going to be better at whatever they do, whatever they choose to do, they're going to be better at it. So it's, I suppose, without sitting on the fence too much, it's identifying those go-getters and supporting them, but also making sure that everyone gets uh, exposed in some way to entrepreneurial training. Wow, that's really excellent. Now I think you can agree, Tom, that no matter what career your students decide to pursue after finishing their education, these are very transferable skills that they'll be able to use in any part of their life. Without a doubt, there is not a job nor career that would not benefit by having someone that was empowered, that took ownership, that created, uh, that solved problems, that was a creative troubleshooter, a passionate leader. There's no career or job that couldn't be benefited in some way by doing that. Um, and a big part of that is understanding the individual. Mm -hmm. um, having individuals that understand their own strengths, their, their need to collaborate and cooperate with others and pull teams together. Um, and you don't have to be a manager or an executive to be a leader. And the entrepreneurial individual 
takes ownership and gets stuff done, and we need more of that. I agree. Now, throughout your years of teaching, do you have any success stories or students that really have stood out to you? There's, there's plenty. Um, they, I mean, we've had some students that have come on our program and they, uh, they've engaged in what I term sort of the gateway businesses. So, uh, um, you know, the, the t-shirt printers, the web designs, that kind of thing. So there's a, there's a whole mass of those. Um, and then sometimes, two, three years down the line after graduating, they've gone on to bigger and better things. They've done much, you know, some significant things. So we've got students um, that have just graduated about a year ago um, that are developing and launching supermarkets. So significant grocery stores, um, looking at more of a, a social, um, social enterprise model, working with local suppliers and growers and that kind of thing. So a bit more like a people supermarket. Um, we've got students involved in the hotel industry, the veteran tourism, um, and one of the most interesting stories um, was a chap called David Wick who came to us actually as, as a student, he was doing one of our elective modules, so he wasn't even on our dedicated fast business growth module. He was an engineering student and he was selling Formula One memorabilia, uh, so he was getting uh, photos signed by drivers and their teams and so on and then selling them to retailers so he was business to business um, and we liked David's ideas so much and what he was doing in business that we, um, we took him out of that job role and get him a job with us teaching because it was just too good an opportunity to miss um, and there are plenty of examples of a similar um, a similar elk and we, when we see real talent we try and bring that into the classroom as well so trying to get our graduates that have successful business um, entrepreneurial stories to tell, trying to get them back into the classroom and putting them in front of people. Um, and by doing that, we have this entrepreneurial alumni that uh, sort of feeds the fire even more and gains even more traction. So, um, yeah, and, and aside of that, part of my job is, is to actually get up and meet local businesses and the university's role in supporting non-student entrepreneurs. Um, and again, through that, we've had, had some fantastic experience working with uh, uh, individuals, everything from international telecoms, logistics, um, aerospace engineering, um, you know, that they're doing something somewhere. And hopefully, if they've been, up, if they've been anywhere near Coventry University, they've hopefully been to see uh, myself or a colleague um, at the Institute for Applied Entrepreneurship to, to support them. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of great stuff going on at the university. Thanks for chatting with me today and uh, keep up the good work, Tom. So again, that was Tom Williamson from the University of Coventry in the UK. Thanks for listening today. We're going to have a lot more videos with our startup heroes and heroines all around the world. So until next time. Remember to check us out on Facebook and Twitter and at www.experientialsimulations.com. <laughs>